We're announcing one of the largest transformations in the global automotive business. Ford just dropped a bombshell that no one saw coming. In a move that's already sending shockwaves through the entire car market, Ford's CEO has announced the closure of every single Ford dealership across the country. That's right, Ford, a company that's relied on its nationwide network of dealerships for over a century, is now walking away from this traditional sales model. Dealerships have been the backbone of Ford's sales approach, embodying the personal touch and hands-on experience that's been so crucial to the brand's identity. So why would Ford suddenly decide to abandon this foundational model? This decision has left many industry insiders, employees, and Ford loyalists stunned. How will customers get their vehicles serviced? What will happen to the thousands of dealership employees who rely on these jobs? And most pressing of all, why did Ford make this choice now? In a market where competition is fierce, especially with the rise of electric vehicles, Ford's move has everyone questioning the brand's next steps and the future of the car buying experience. Why Ford is shutting down dealerships? Ford's decision isn't just a spontaneous shakeup, it's a calculated response to some serious challenges the company has been facing. The reality is, Ford's traditional dealership model, which once worked brilliantly, now feels outdated in today's fast-paced digital world. What used to be a central part of Ford's identity is now becoming a liability. Let's talk numbers. Ford has been struggling with financial pressure from multiple fronts. Despite an uptick in wholesale volumes, the profits aren't keeping pace. Revenue rose by a modest 7% in the second quarter quarter of 2024, but it wasn't enough to cover the growing operational costs. In fact, Ford's Model E division, dedicated to electric vehicles, is taking a significant financial hit, reporting over $1 billion in operating losses in just one quarter. And here's the kicker. Ford is losing a staggering $36,000 on every electric vehicle it sells. That's a financial burden that no brand can sustain for long. But it's not just about the electric vehicle struggles. Warranty costs, recalls, and quality control issues are draining Ford's resources, hitting the company's profitability hard. Increasing warranty reserves and a string of recalls have left Ford in a financially vulnerable position. It's clear that Ford needed to make a bold change. By closing dealerships and moving towards a more digital, direct-to-consumer model, Ford is hoping to cut costs, streamline operations, and compete with the new players in the automotive world. How car buying has changed. Ford's challenges are not just financial, they're also tied to a major shift in consumer behavior. The traditional car buying experience, visiting a dealership, negotiating with a salesperson, and taking a test drive has started to lose its appeal. The pandemic accelerated a shift that was already in motion as more consumers began exploring the convenience of online car shopping. Today, people can research, customize, and even purchase a car without ever setting foot in a dealership. Think about it. When was the last time you actually enjoyed the process of buying a car, the back and forth negotiations, the pressure to make a decision, and the feeling of being sold to are all parts of the experience that many buyers could do without. And with advances in digital technology, it's now easier than ever to get that personalized car buying experience online. The younger generations in particular have embraced this digital first approach. Millennials and Gen Z consumers have grown up in the internet age. They value convenience, efficiency, and transparency. For them, buying a car online isn't just an option, it's preferable. Virtual tours, augmented reality showrooms, and online test drives have become increasingly sophisticated, allowing customers to make informed decisions without ever leaving home. This shift in consumer behavior is a wake-up call for traditional dealerships, and Ford knows it. As Ford navigates this new landscape, it's clear that sticking with the old ways isn't going to cut it. Moving away from dealerships allows Ford to adapt to a digital-first world, streamline operations, and cater to the expectations of today's buyers. The question remains, will this bold move work? Ford is betting on it, but the stakes couldn't be higher. The financial strain on Ford Ford's decision to shut down its dealerships is part of a larger financial struggle that's been quietly growing over the years. The company has been feeling the squeeze from multiple angles, and it's become clear that they needed to make a drastic move to stabilize their finances. The numbers are telling Ford's Model E division, focused on EV production, reported a jaw-dropping $1.1 billion in operating losses in the second quarter of 2024. This loss is compounded by the fact that Ford is losing approximately $36,000 for 
every EV sold, a figure that puts enormous strain on the company's bottom line. This isn't just about one tough quarter. Ford's costs are ballooning due to increased warranty reserves, recalls, and quality control initiatives, all of which are necessary to maintain vehicle safety and reliability. But each recall and warranty payout means more money out of Ford's pockets, leaving less to invest in future innovation. And as competitors with leaner, more profitable EV divisions continue to rise, Ford's financial future looks increasingly uncertain. The dealership closures aren't just about cutting overhead, they're about a fundamental shift in strategy. By moving to a digital first model, Ford can cut significant costs related to dealership operations, staff, and inventory management. The company hopes this move will free up funds to focus on its EV division and other innovative projects. But even with these savings, there's a major hurdle Ford still has to overcome. It's pricing strategy, which has pushed many potential buyers toward more affordable competitors. The price of prestige. Let's talk about price. The average transaction price for a new Ford vehicle in 2023 reached a staggering $48,000, which is above the industry average of $45,000. This premium positioning might have worked in the past, but in today's market, price sensitivity is playing a huge role in consumer decisions. As more buyers seek affordable and eco-friendly options, Ford's higher price tag is becoming a disadvantage, especially when compared to brands like Tesla and Chevrolet, which offer more budget-friendly EV models. Take the Chevy Bolt, for instance, which starts at just $26,500, a far cry from the price of Ford's comparable electric models. For buyers on a budget, especially those interested in making the switch to electric vehicles, Ford's pricing can feel out of reach. And this high pricing isn't just deterring new customers, it's also leading some loyal Ford buyers to reconsider their options. After all, it's one thing to pay more for a vehicle with a prestigious name, but when competitors are offering similar or better value at a lower price, the choice becomes much harder. And it's not just about the upfront cost. Ford's reputation has taken hits from repeated quality control issues and recalls, leading consumers to question whether they're really getting premium value for their money. In 2023 alone, Ford dealt with over 20 major recalls affecting hundreds of thousands of vehicles, covering issues from engine malfunctions to safety concerns. These quality challenges, coupled with a price that's higher than many competitors, have cast a shadow over Ford's premium reputation. With consumer satisfaction ratings lower than industry leaders like Toyota and Honda, Ford has realized that simply having a long history and a well-known name isn't enough in today's competitive landscape. Ford's growing challenges. Ford's push into the electric vehicle market has been an ambitious journey, but it hasn't come without its own set of complications. The company has invested heavily in its Model E division, pouring billions into developing EV technology, manufacturing facilities, and partnerships aimed at producing cutting-edge electric vehicles. But despite these investments, the road has been rocky. One of the biggest challenges Ford faces is the slow pace of consumer adoption. Even with the global push towards sustainability, many potential buyers remain hesitant to make the switch to electric. Concerns over range anxiety, the fear that the car's battery will run out mid-trip, and charging infrastructure continue to haunt would-be EV owners. A recent survey showed that 70% of consumers worry about finding reliable charging stations, especially on long road trips, a fear that remains a barrier to widespread EV adoption. For Ford, this issue is compounded by the fact that its EV lineup is still viewed as costly compared to alternatives. Ford's electric offerings, such as the Mustang Mach-E, may offer powerful performance, but they come at a price point that's hard to justify for budget-conscious buyers. This hesitation among buyers means that despite Ford's efforts to innovate, its EV sales are falling short of expectations. And with every unsold electric vehicle, Ford's financial losses grow, putting even more pressure on the company to find a sustainable solution. The dealership closures signal a shift in Ford's strategy to reach customers in a different way reducing the costs associated with physical locations and redirecting funds toward tackling these pressing EV challenges. The move is a bold attempt to stay competitive and adapt to the rapidly evolving market, but the transition won't be easy. Ford is betting that it can make up for the dealership losses by creating a streamlined, customer-centric digital experience, one that aligns with a market increasingly driven by convenience and technology. The Dealership Dilemma 
The dealership model has been central to Ford's identity for decades. These dealerships are more than just sales locations. They're touch points for loyal customers, where people could go not only to purchase, but also to service their vehicles and receive expert advice. But now, with the automotive world in flux, the traditional dealership is starting to look more like a burden than an asset for Ford. Ford's dealership network, with its large infrastructure and significant overhead costs, is expensive to maintain. Dealerships rely heavily on servicing gas-powered vehicles, a model that generates substantial revenue. But as electric vehicles, which require less maintenance, become more prominent, these service departments are poised to bring in less income. For many dealers, the prospect of investing in new technology and infrastructure to support EV sales is daunting, especially when the profitability of electric vehicles remains uncertain. There's also a clear divide in sentiment among dealers. On one hand, some are reluctant to embrace the EV future, hoping that demand for traditional vehicles will hold out long enough to keep their businesses afloat. On the other hand, some dealers are enthusiastic about the shift, but feel they lack the support needed from Ford to make this massive transition. Investing in charging stations, training mechanics to service EVs, and educating sales staff on EV technology requires substantial resources, resources that many dealers simply don't have. This split in readiness has created a dealership dilemma for Ford, making it increasingly difficult to rely on the current network to support a forward-looking business model. As consumer behavior shifts, Ford is realizing that its dealership network isn't equipped to keep pace with the demands of the modern buyer. The response? Ford's strategic pivot towards a digital-first direct-to-consumer sales model, a move designed to attract a new generation of buyers without the traditional dealership footprint. Ford's Direct-to-Consumer Sales Model In an industry marked by tradition, Ford's move toward a direct-to-consumer sales model marks a radical break from the past. This shift isn't just about selling cars, it's about creating a streamlined, digital-first experience that meets the expectations of today's tech-savvy consumers. Ford knows that in a world where people can purchase everything from groceries to furniture online, car buying is no exception. Consumers want a convenient, transparent experience that allows them to customize and purchase a vehicle vehicle with minimal hassle. So what does this new model look like? Ford is investing heavily in its online sales platform, transforming its website into a virtual showroom. Buyers will have access to a wealth of detailed information, everything from vehicle specifications and real-time pricing to model availability across regions. This is more than a basic online catalog. Ford's new platform will offer immersive features like 3D model views, allowing potential buyers to explore vehicles from every angle. But Ford isn't stopping there. Understand Understanding that personalization is key, the platform allows buyers to customize their chosen vehicle down to the smallest detail, from color options and interior finishes to optional packages. Want a forest green Mustang with leather seats and a panoramic sunroof? You got it! The new model is designed to give each customer a unique experience, letting them build a car that feels personal and tailored to their tastes, all without the pressure of in-person negotiations. A standout feature of Ford's online approach is the introduction of virtual showrooms equipped with augmented reality. Customers can view a model in their own driveway using their phone or tablet camera, getting a true-to-life feel of how it might look parked at home. This kind of immersive experience gives Ford a competitive edge, appealing to a new wave of digital consumers who value convenience and technology over the traditional dealership process. Leveraging Data Analytics for Consumer Insight Ford's direct-to-consumer model isn't just about shifting sales online, it's also a strategy for collecting valuable consumer insights. Through its digital platform, Ford can gather extensive data on what consumers are interested in, from popular colors and features to preferred price points. This data isn't just useful for tracking trends. It's a powerful tool Ford can use to shape its future product lineup and marketing strategy. Imagine this. Every interaction on Ford's website, from browsing specific models to comparing prices, creates a data point that Ford can analyze. Over time, this data helps Ford understand customer preferences on a granular level, enabling the company to refine its offerings and develop marketing campaigns that truly resonate. For instance, if data shows that a significant number of buyers are choosing specific EV features, Ford can use this insight to highlight those features in future ads, or even tweak designs to better align with consumer preferences. This data-driven approach offers more than just better marketing. It enables Ford to build stronger relationships with its customers. By analyzing customer data, Ford can offer personalized recommendations and special promotions tailored to each user's interests. Imagine receiving an email about a new 
model release that aligns with your past searches or seeing an exclusive offer on a model you previously customized on the site. This level of personalization is rarely possible through traditional dealerships, where interactions are limited to brief sales encounters. Ford's investment in data analytics also prepares the company for a future where consumer expectations continue to evolve. As Ford shifts away from its dealership model, this data-first approach gives the company an edge, allowing it to stay agile and responsive to market trends. By creating a digital experience that's interactive, insightful, and tailored, Ford hopes to build lasting loyalty among its customer base, a loyalty that will be crucial as the company navigates the complex transition from a legacy automaker to a forward-thinking, tech-driven brand. Integration with dealerships Even as Ford transitions to a direct-to-consumer model, it isn't cutting ties with its dealerships completely. Instead, Ford is reimagining the role of these dealerships, positioning them as essential service and support hubs rather than traditional sales locations. This hybrid model aims to balance the convenience of online car buying with the benefits of local service centers, ensuring that Ford's relationship with its customers doesn't end at the point of sale. In this new model, dealerships will focus on providing in-person services like test drives, vehicle delivery, and after-sales support. Customers who prefer an in-person experience can still visit a dealership to see and test a vehicle before making a final purchase online. This click-and-mortar approach allows Ford to cater to a wider audience, those who embrace digital shopping, and those who value hands-on experiences. After the sale, dealerships will play a critical role in maintenance and service, acting as support centers where customers can get expert help. From routine servicing to complex repairs, dealerships will be essential for customers who need ongoing support with their vehicles. This model keeps dealerships engaged as long-term partners in the customer journey, providing the face-to-face -face interactions that online platforms can't replicate. It's a shift that transforms dealerships from sales-driven locations to community service hubs where relationships are built through support rather than transactions. By keeping dealerships involved in this way, Ford is attempting to bridge the gap between a digital-first future and the brand's commitment to customer satisfaction. Dealerships may no longer handle sales, but they will continue to be part of the Ford ecosystem, offering value that goes beyond selling cars. Economic Impact of Dealership Closures Ford's dealership closures are more than just a corporate restructuring. They're a significant economic shift with real consequences for local communities. Dealerships employ thousands of people across the country, sales staff, service technicians, administrative personnel, and more. As Ford shifts to an online first model, these jobs are directly impacted, creating a ripple effect throughout the local economies where these dealerships are located. For many smaller towns, dealerships are vital economic contributors. They provide stable employment, attract foot traffic, and contribute to local tax revenue through property taxes and sales tax on vehicle purchases. The closure of these dealerships could mean a loss of jobs and economic strain for local governments, which rely on these revenues to fund essential services like schools, public safety, and infrastructure. It's not just the dealership employees who will feel the impact. Part suppliers, who rely on dealership orders for a significant portion of their business, will likely see a decrease in demand. This could lead to layoffs within the supply chain, creating further jobs losses. Marketing firms, financing companies, and insurance providers that work with dealerships are also likely to experience a decline in business. The economic consequences of Ford's dealership closures extend beyond the company's immediate workforce, affecting an entire network of businesses tied to the automotive retail sector. These economic challenges bring up important questions about Ford's role in the communities that have supported the brand for generations. By transitioning to an online model, Ford gains efficiency, but but it also risks weakening the economic support systems that have helped sustain the brand's success. It's a reminder that corporate restructuring, especially on this scale, rarely impacts just one area. It sends waves throughout entire ecosystems of local economies. The social cost of a digital shift. Beyond the economic impact, Ford's decision to close dealerships brings a social cost that's harder to measure but equally significant. Dealerships have long been community landmarks, places where generations of families bought their first cars, serviced their vehicles, and built relationships with local Ford employees. These connections are often woven deeply into the fabric of local communities, with dealerships sponsoring events, supporting charities, and participating in local initiatives. For many people, 
the dealership is more than just a place to buy a car. It's a symbol of community and continuity. Losing these establishments could leave a void in towns and neighborhoods where Ford dealerships have been a staple for decades. The shift to digital means that while customers can still interact with Ford, those interactions will be less personal, reducing the sense of connection that comes with face-to-face -face experiences. For customers who value these personal connections, the digital-only model may feel isolating. The impact extends to how people feel about the brand itself. When Ford dealerships sponsor local sports teams, contribute to community fundraisers, and engage in charitable work, they reinforce Ford's identity as a trusted American brand with strong community ties. By closing dealerships, Ford risks losing a part of its legacy, a reputation built not only on vehicles, but also on the relationships formed through these dealerships. This loss of community presence brings into question what the future of brand loyalty looks like in an increasingly digital world. As Ford shifts its focus to online platforms, it will need to find new ways to foster a sense of connection with customers. One possible avenue is virtual community engagement, where Ford could sponsor online events, create loyalty programs, or even develop virtual showrooms with interactive social features to bring people together in a new way. But will these virtual spaces hold the same value as a local dealership? Only time will tell. As Ford continues its journey towards a digital first future, the broader social impact of this decision will unfold. It's a complex trade-off. The efficiency and reach of online sales versus the local connections and community bonds that made Ford a household name. Ford is betting that the future of car buying is digital, but whether that future can retain the heart of the Ford brand remains an open question. As the automotive landscape shifts, Ford's success may depend not only on its ability to innovate, but also on its commitment to keeping the brand's legacy alive in an ever-evolving world.